Don't bring it down. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon and Sword and Shield. Last time on the Diglett Hunt, we got two areas done of the Focus Forest and the... Oh, Brain. Uh, Focus Forest and, uh, <laughs> seriously, Brain. Uh, Ch Challenge Beach, there we go. Challenger Beach. Hi there, Victor, I got a, a nice view from you. Uh, come on, don't you want, uh, don't you want, uh, come to enjoy the scenery together? Heck yeah. Let's see it. We're so happy! We've never seen a cave before, apparently. <laughs> Kung Fu are now, uh, are now the best, uh, best of friends. Master Mustard would be happy to hear about how, uh, well it's going along. Being together with Pokemon makes it, ev uh, makes everyday scenery feel brighter and, col and uh, colorful, don't you think? It does. Thank you. That was a wonderful view. Rare candy, and there wasn't any more Diglett over there, I believe. A bag of stardust. Brawler's cave. So now we gotta get our special eyes ready for Diglett. Everybody likes Diglett. Everyone lights diglet there's like seven here but this is also kind of hard to find uh oh there's one five more to find got it now thankfully they're not super jerkish about where they're hiding Meaning, this was, I think, one of the first areas while I was playing the DLC, just in general. I think this was, like, the one and only area I found all of them, just passively. Okay, TR31 Iron Tail, which isn't that great. Well, I, eh, no, Iron Tail is useful. It just, it depends on how you use it. Three more to find as I burp, I apologize. More burps. Moonstone. Uh, Pokemon can evolve at night, or they. Uh, it's pretty much like the evolution of stone for three separate families. Four, I think. I actually don't remember. Basically, Clefairy and the Nitto family is what I can remember. Is there another family that evolves to there? Probably. Do I remember it? Nope. <laughs> One more Brawler's Cave. Bottle of iron, it raises your natural defense. Physical defense, rather. Roll gem, which we're not using. Uh, where is this last one? There it is. Found it. All in Brawler's Cave done. So, time to ride all the way back because I'm doing this all in order. Because I'm insane and want to. We could just fly back. Yeah, we could just use the town map and fly back, but eh. We want Cup Food to be a l crazy amounts of happy with us. And if that means, you know, cycling back all the way to the starting of the area, that means cycling back all the way to the starting area. Sorry, Cup Food, I'll pick it up for you. I'll make it up to you eventually. Frick. And plus, we get dumb things like this to happen to us. I'm a bear! Fear me! You didn't fear me enough! Wah! Solo experience. I do not like this, but it's fine. Uh, watch I did Brawler Cave when it's not Brawler's Cave. That's, that was next on the list. That does occasionally happen, where I'm like, it's sort of this game, and then I'm like, oh, no thought. Okay. Hop off for bike. Don't talk to you. Talk to the billboard. Uh, Challenge Road, which was right next to it. Frick. Okay. Challenge Road is also super tiny, so we're fine. 
Who wanted the sense of dignity and respect? I did it. Oh boy. No! Oh, whooper! Bad whooper! I didn't want to fight you. It's a bang it. I, I didn't want this. You wanted this. I'm like, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna be awesome, happy Lori. And you're just like, whooper! I'm I'm a no armed uh, freak fiend. Yeah! I give it a little head bob as it like just does that. It's like, yay, whoopers! Oh god. That reminds me of, uh, uh, I was watching, uh, forever ago. This is like, this was a, this is an old meme, too. Uh, but if you guys ever want to look up something really crazy, type in Kirby music with whooper. And there's this one, like, a uh, Gmod video that someone made. And it's like, whoopers dancing to the dumbest thing in Kirby. And it's honestly kind of funny. Anywho, Challenger's Road is right up here, I believe. Yep, Challenger's Road. Oh, found one of the diglets already. Diglet number one. Seven more to go. Oh, hello, Salazzle. Stay the hell away from me, please. Because you're a poison fire type. Uh, diglet. I'm, like, I'm staring right at you. Why are you not registering? Oh, Scarberry. Hello, Scarberry. Metal Co. That's... It boosts Steel-type moves, but it's also there to evolve Weavile into... Uh, uh, Sneevil into Weavile and... Uh, oh, frick. Uh, Brain. Uh, Sneevil into Weavile, Onyx into Steelix, and it boosts the attack... the Steel attack moves. I don't think there's any other but one that uses that for an evolutional thing, and I'm probably wrong with that, but that's all I remember right now. Everstone, piece of armor knight ore. And oddly enough, no day no, there's daylight. I see ya. Oh hello little baby! Oh I disappeared though. No, oh, the baby didn't want me. Do 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 do, do. go and avoid Oh Mianfu, cool. Mianfu, that, or Skarmory. Uh, oh, Skarmory. There's a lot of Skarmory's out today. Well, Skarmory is actually one of those Pokemon that's like a, I believe, once a day spawn in these areas, so that's why. Da -da -da! Four more Diglett. And Challenger's Road is actually not that large, so we're not going to have that much... We're not going to have that much of a problem with this stuff. Muscle Band. Nice. There's our Diglett. Three Diglett to find. So many Everstones. Ugh. I mean, that's good and all, but we don't need Everstones. Diglett. Over here. That's it. Over here. So, two more. There should be... Oh, there's a... Yeah, we fought behind the dojo. Or the tower here, rather. A pair of bl uh, black glasses improves the dart-type moves. Like every other kind of uh, accessory for Pokemon, generally. Downstairs. Down... Where's Kung Fu, actually? Kung Fu. There you go, buddy. Guess he doesn't feel comfortable going downstairs. That's fine. Oh, we got another, uh, trader guy. Hello. I would like to enjoy the view. Yes, please. Ah. Ah. Stairs. Comfort enjoys it. You come your best friends. Yep, I know. Be a Pokemon. Yeah, you said the same thing the other guy said. Thank you. All the same, though. It's true. Uh, now it's a question of where do we find the other things? We're missing one! Great! And you go down to the Training Lowlands, I believe, right? Yep, Training Lowlands. We're not doing you yet. There's only so many areas of Diglett to hide. And knowing me, I probably passed it up stupidly.
I could have sprung somewhere here. Hmm. We got the one near the dojo. We got the one there. We got one over there. We got one. Is there two near the dojo? Or the tower? I gotta stop saying dojo is not a dojo if it's a tower. There's probably two around the tower. Are you just really hidden? Like the TR-95 uh, throw chop? Uh, this is not a good feeling because I've always won away. Gotta hop on my bike for a second here. Oh, there it is. Ah, I didn't need a guy for that one. I can see our excursions are also going to go a little... Start, they're going to start taking us a little bit further away. We're just going to start warping. To the dojo! Oh, don't go into the dojo yet. Next up should be... The cave? Near there? Uh, Courageous Cavern and Loop Lagoon. I don't remember... Oh, wait, no, I don't remember where Loop, Loop Lagoon is. Also, no, that is actually, I believe, if we travel through this, should take us to Challenger's, uh, cave? Uh, I forgot what the freaking hell the thing is called. Courageous ca uh, Cavern, here we go. And I believe this is actually one that you need the water bike to get through to get the best amount uh that to get all the daylight yeah because there's one right here there you go daylight six more to find but yeah there will be times where i i kind of forget the island of armor because i spent a lot of time here does not necessarily mean i remember them by area names i more or less know these areas based off the problem i had for a long time this, incre this increases the duration for hail, so just like the damp stone, it works for like the water, the, uh, the ice stone. There's also a thing called a heat stone, and that is sunny day. Five more, and back start us. Great. This area is kind of condensed, also, so it's not that hard to. Uh, it, it, it's kind of hard to miss a couple, is what I'm saying. Four more. I can count, guys. I I passed preschool. Uh, that's a joke that's not even mine. I still find it funny. Dust ball, which is inevitably helpful for anything you're doing in a cave. Three more to go. Two more to go. A TR, TR-37 taught. Not great. Okay, so that's done. Oh, freaking heck, really? Come here, buddy. You're, you're gonna give me wattage, and I actually need the wattage. And brick break. Hey, use protect- Freaking heck! Why do you have Protect? I really wish Brick Break went through Protect too, but I guess they needed Protect to be a... Like, hey, you can dodge anything situation. Fine by me! Totally fine by me! Uh, any other ones that I should be aware of? Nope, not here. So, I believe there's one near Challenger's beach and then there should be one over near the end of the cave. Armorite. Yay. Yeah, you're way too small to hide a daylight. You're not, but there's also no daylight here. That's fine. Get away from me. I don't want to deal with you guys. It frightens me so. I don't want to fight you. Uh, that sounded really bad. I apologize for anyone who got offended by that. Which hopefully was not a lot of people. Pokeball, great. Uh, where the hell is this diglet? Oh, there's one. Oh, 
Oh, they let one more to go. And you are Challenger's Loop, right? Loop Lagoon. Right, cool. We're not here. we're not doing you yet. I think this one was a weird one where you have to be in the water to find it. I believe that to be the case, but I truly do not remember if that's the case or not. Uh I think I had a dream of that, and I think I'm thinking of that wrong. We found a diglet here, we found a diglet there. There's one over there. Uh oh wait, no, no, I think I'm right. Because they hide this one, I believe. They hide it just out of plain sight. Because it's, I think, right over here, is it not? Nope, I'm full of it. I could have sworn this one they hide, like, you have to get to the... Yep, they did. I did not have a dream about that. That was actually accurate. Lo and behold, when you actually think you dream about something, it may or may not be because you had a nightmare finding that. Challenger, or Loop Lagoon now. There was how many here? There was seven. Also, hello. Hello, Victor. Would you like to enjoy the view? Cup. Yeah, yeah. Me and Cup Fu could definitely enjoy this one. See, this is where I would probably just chill out if you if you took me to an island like this. It's like, hey, you know, why not go explore in the caves? I'm like, water, though. I could swim in the little lagoon. It'd be fun. Actually, I wouldn't mind swimming in this lagoon. It's like tiny, you're close to an island, you're close to like everywhere. I don't know, I like swimming. Fun, fun fact about me, I actually do really enjoy swimming. I... You know, I was gonna say something and then I'm like, oh, there's a sunny day, the heat rock. I was gonna say like, would, would people really consider going to an island and then like going on a date, but you're just going to a lagoon? A I mean, yeah, you'll probably, like, take take one day and enjoy, like, a lagoon. Take another day and, like, a, go hike up the mountain or something. I don't know. I, I'm one of those people who just, like, I would just prefer staying at a lagoon. Like, if our... Like, if I could talk, that would also help. If, like, we had a little cottage at, at, like, a waterfront, that'd be amazing. That'd be, like, okay, cool. Put put your feet up and let's go hiking in town tomorrow or something. Which, by the way, the... The very few times I actually was at a cottage, uh, we did do that. We went, to, we we hiked over to a town, and we uh, did some grocery shopping. It was, it was fun. Uh, didn't help that we had to carry the groceries back, though. But I mean, oh well. You gotta use your body a lot more sometimes when you're out in the when you're out in the countryside and you don't want to be seen as city folk. <laughs> that's a horrible way of saying that, but that's kind of what the case was for us. TR-25, Psy-Shock. Psy-Shock Psy is, I think, a relatively decent move. Can you not approach me, please? Uh, he didn't approach me. I... A ghost ground type. Hi, si Sandy Gas. Don't mind me, I'm being smart. Oh, Kafu did, oh, Kafu did a jump, so he loves us. Oh, crap. Ghost type. <laughs> Whoops. Kung Fu did a, a, he did a jump, so he, that shows he loves us. Thanks, nice, Kung Fu. We're, we're not done with you, though. Aerial Ace? Yeah. It's just fighting normal type moves don't work. <laughs> Had a little bit of a brain fart. It's on occasion. You know what happens on occasion? People who are there, and I'm going to tell you guys for those who weren't there... For my stream of Pokemon Shield, uh, <laughs> I forgot Dark, or, yeah, Dark nullifies, uh, Psychic. I did a huge dub by bringing a Zatu to, uh, Pierce's fight, forgetting that, you know, the nullification of, uh, of, uh, Psychic moves. <laughs> we won that fight, like, that entire, that entire playthrough, uh, I don't think we lost a single fight in that. But we got really damn close to losing that. <laughs> You're probably thinking, like, how do you forget something that simple? I don't have an answer to you for that. I really don't. 
Uh, that was a fun time, though. That was also, like, in the time of recording this, that's, like, two years ago, though. Uh, where is Diglett? There's Diglett. Two more to find. And is that a Kadabra? Nope, that's an Alkazam. Okay, bye, right, bye. Where is our friends? Help, friend. Far away. Uh, Majora's Mask and how you were a very interesting game for some people. Including myself. Hey, a jar of sea, uh, sea set incense. I believe that helps you create a man tyke? I do not know because I don't breed Pokemon as well as you guys think I do. Uh, where is this last Diglett? I thought I saw a Diglett coming up to this. Got the one there. Got the one there. Uh, the only place I probably think of it where it's probably back in the sand area. Because we're missing one stinking Diglett. There's only like three areas to go on to. Here, there, and that one over there. Also, to, to go with the fact, I actually live close to a lake, so I guess it makes sense that I'm, I'm a little more partial towards water. I, I mean, by that, I mean I live like, what, maybe a couple kilometers away from a lake. I mean, eh, now that I think about it, yeah, well, I only live like three or four kilometers away from a lake. So yeah, fun little fact about me, for those who probably did not care or cared barely, uh, very little. Oh, there it is, found it. Okay, found all of them in Loop Lagoon. So we're, I think, halfway done with this? I actually don't fully know because I forgot how many areas there are entirely to the Island of Armor. But I will show you guys in our way to get back to the starting area just because, once again, this island is not a big island. It's, it's very hard to get lost here, in my opinion. Uh, Stepstone Sea. Which, that's how see, I believe, doesn't have that much daylight. I think there's like three or four daylight here. Workout C has very little daylight, and I'm pretty sure there's a daylight. Uh, I think there's a daylight around here. Rather, I get it, we're just gonna acknowledge it. Yep, I see it. Yeah, but overall, we shouldn't have, like, too much of a problem with this, just because, yeah, the, the daylight cycle was, although, yes, it's daunting and long. It's not hard. It's one of the few side quests in, like, a Pokemon game, or, like, most RPGs I've played recently, that doesn't take a crazy amount of freaking time to do. I'm looking at you, Octopath! God, do I love Octopath, but some of the side quests in that game take forever. And people say the same thing about Bravely Default 2, and I'm like, ugh. Well, I mean, that's a good thing, that Bravely Default, like, the side quests are ridiculously large, but... It depends on how bad you want ridiculously large side quests. So, 4, 8, 12, 15, I think. Uh, Trini Lowlands, 15. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's about 15 areas. So, we'll get to Trini Lowlands, but we will wait until we do that until the... Oh, we'll wait until the next part to start that. So we'll work on the Trinity Lowlands, and we're pretty much getting to that point where we're going to start having a little bit of issues because I've done the other areas way before finishing the DLC. So I was doing I was doing it along the side alongside the DLC when it was out, and I once again did it in all one day. But it doesn't mean it does not mean I remember everything. Trinity Lowlands. Okay, right, guys, I will start right up. About here next time.
So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield, we will carry on with the Dinner Side Quest and finish up the Training Lowlands where we have to find 15 of these little guys. And then I believe the cave next to us is our next target also. Uh, it should be here, right? More of a tunnel. Yeah, I think the more of a tunnel was the one of them. I should just go back and write all of it down, but I'm not going to because I'm not smart. <laughs> See you all next time.